Hi, it's Ian from the Postal Hub Podcast. And Marek from Last Mile Experts. And we are The Last Mile Profits. This is the last word on The Last Mile. Marek, we were recently at Parcel and Post Expo in Vienna and we got the opportunity to talk to a few companies that are producing parcel lockers. Lockers have been a, a staple at Parcel and Post Expo, which used to just be Post Expo, which used to roll off the tongue beautifully. Anyway, has been a, they've been a staple at the, at the show for over 10 years, obviously. But it really is obvious now that there's more and more competition. You've got the traditional players and you've got some new entrants. There, there seem to be two directions. You've got what I call the next-gen lockers, which are the ones without screens, which are usually app-based. They don't require power. Our friends at Switbox, for example, they claim that the battery lasts about nine years, which seems pretty incredible to me. And then you've got the traditional ones with the screens and all the mod cons, pay by card, even cash, printers, my word, nightmare in what? practice, but still. Were there any that still have printers? I'm not sure. Oh, there are, there, there, listen, there are, because I, I can't remember, there's a project we were working on, I just can't remember where it was. I think it was in, in the Middle East where they really had to have that. And we all know that printers are the thing that goes wrong most often. Well, I think we've had this discussion before. We won't rehash it right now. By the way, Switbox, if you can get the, the batteries to last for nine years, can you do something about the batteries in the remote control for my TV? All right. Now, anyway, let's have a look at some of the interviews that we recorded at Parcel and Post Expo in Vienna. So today we are at Post Expo and we're looking at some interesting stands. And we found my Flexbox, which is a company from Salzburg in Austria. And one of the reasons that we wanted to talk to the guys is they are running an open network. And Alexander from my Flexbox maybe would share a few words about the company and about why you're different. We are my Flexbox. We are currently establishing the largest open smart locker network within Austria with already 150 MyFlex boxes. And we want to double the, next, the network by next year. And they're also close to my heart because their first customer, I believe, is DPD, where I spent over 10 years of my life. So I think it will be interesting. We'll watch how you guys develop with great interest. Uh, I think you've got about 150 lockers in situ now. So let's see how that grows. What are your plans for the next year? Um, yeah, we want to um, double our network, so by the end of next year we want to reach 400 smart lockers in Austria and in total we are planning to do 800 to 1000 smart lockers. So let's, let's watch this space, next year we expect 400 plus machines when we're at Post Expo, It'll be interesting to catch up. Now we are at the Kiba stand and I'm with Caesar, who's going to tell us some interesting things about Kiba lockers. Now, I'll start off with one interesting story that, in a way, you guys are almost the father or the father and mother of lockers in Europe. So can you tell us a bit about that? Well, actually, you're right. Uh, in the year 2000, together with DHL, we decided to bring the solution, which is now known as the parcel locker. So the idea was the following. DHL were thinking about how to, you know, reach the customers, don't make it go so far away, especially because they don't have postal offices. So we came with this fantastic idea. So it was a joint development and now you can see it everywhere, you know. We, we, even, uh, we are amazed that it has such an acceptance everywhere. And I have to say that we noticed that everybody is asking about lockers. I think COVID has really made it happen. But is there something you can share, something really unique that you think is now happening in the locker space that people would be interested in hearing? Well, uh, first of all, uh, I think uh, you have mentioned several times already, but it's about efficiency, you know? If you have a parcel locker, you can have 50, 60, maybe more deliveries in one place, you know? It saves a lot of resources, not only the driver, what about emissions, and also the time that is invested. So, first of all, is the synergy, because especially if you have to scale up, you know that because of e-commerce, especially in COVID, there's a lot of demand of, the, of deliveries. So you can consolidate and it's easy to scale instead of buying more trucks, more people. Well, you don't buy people, but you have to hire people. Well, I will tell you something, Caesar, which maybe will surprise you. I was visiting a locker company in my part of the world, Central Europe, and I asked the driver how many deliveries he's made that day. Have you got any idea? What would you say is an incredible number of parcels in one day? You caught me by surprise. I have no idea. Well, are you ready for this? Over 1,300 parcels in one day. In one day. So if anyone has any doubts about why lockers are effective, now you know.
Well, I'll give you an interesting uh, fact. Do you have any idea how many parcels per day are delivered worldwide with Keva systems? Oh, now that, there you've got, you tell me. Half a million per day. Wow. Well, so you can see, lockers are the next big thing. And hopefully next year, when we come to your stand at Post Expo, we'll hear maybe not half a million, but a million. Thank I hope so. Much, nice to see you. Have a good day. So now we are at the Kern stand, and I'm delighted to have Juan here, who's going to tell us some interesting information of what's new with Kern. All right. Uh, thank you, Marek. So we are very happy uh, to, to announce that we have this deal in Lockerland, Holland, with the Becky and Holland, one of the biggest companies there. And uh, we are very proud of that uh, deal. And for those of you who don't know Pekan Olen, it's, it's the biggest petroleum company. And if I'm not mistaken, we're talking about something like 2,000 machines, is that correct? That's uh, completely right. It's 2,000 for the first stage and uh, they're willing to match uh, imports quite fast. Uh. Well, 2,000 is a big deal because at the moment nobody is anywhere close to impost in Poland. The biggest alternative network by our LME report standards is about 240. So 2,000 is a big deal. It is. And um, it will be interesting to see. So let's look forward to next year and see what novelties Kern will have then. Yeah. And now we are actually moving to Lithuania. Now, I always say Poland is Lockerland, but it seems that Lithuania is really moving quite fast in this space. And I've got Victoria, who's going to tell us about her lockers, which are brand new from Lithuania. Yes, hello, my name is Victoria and I'm project manager of company Linea. And we would like to present you this perfect parcel lockers. Let's see what happens, but hopefully next year we'll see lots of great things, more innovations from Linea from Lithuania. So, Marek, now that we've seen all that, any final comments before we wrap up? I think this is a super, super exciting space. Things are changing dynamically. There's a lot of discussion about mobile lockers. I have some concerns about that, but I think technology is taking us forward. For me, the, the holy grail is to have machines that can be very easily put in situ that don't require power, very much like the Infinity Locker from, from Sootbox. And I would say probably machines that are part of the sharing economy, so open networks. Yes, I think that the other comment that I have on all of this is that as we learn more about the carbon footprint of residential delivery compared to out-of-home delivery, uh, if it continues to be the case that out-of-home delivery is more efficient and that we can have networks that enable customers to access their parcels by foot, the old slipper distance, thank you B-Post, love that phrase, really important to understand that and as we continue to develop the last mile. Marek, before we wrap up, a quick reminder, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit subscribe, wherever it is, down here somewhere. Hit the notifications bell so you get a notification every time we publish a new video. That will help us keep these videos free and keep bringing you great content on The Last Mile Profits. Marek, thanks for being on The Last Mile Profits today. Thank you, and thank you, everybody.